Morning guys. Well, it's Friday morning. Um, I've got a busy day ahead. I've got a car transporter with a brake fault. I've got a trailer needing a couple of landing legs. And I've got a van needing pads and possibly discs. So it's got a brake warning light on. So, yep, got to get them all sorted today. Solutions, not problems. So, yep, let's get these, let's, let's get powered through these jobs. That's uh, jacked up. Let's get the wheel off. Right, and that's the wheel off. So, um, get the other side off, and then we're going to do a set of discs and pads on this Actros. Cracking day for it, jacked up. What I've got to mention is these Mercs have got a weight reduced front axle. You can see there with the holes in it. So you just got to make sure you jack them up on the outside of the on the outside of that weight reduced bit so you don't uh, end up breaking anything. Okay. Right, guys, just getting this stripped off there. The caliper has got a sleeve a C slide, so it's not compensating. So it's worn one pad more than the other taking out the disc, so um, stripping it off, put a new caliper on, set the pads, discs, and yeah, lovely day, look at that, beautiful, let's crack on, get a strip, and put back together. How cool is this driver? Absolutely mint, that. Well, must crack on. Right, and that's the caliper off, end plate off, disc off, so can move across to the other side there now and uh, get the other side stripped off. Happy days. Good morning Keith, here's the main man, pass delivery with a smile. I'll get you on the video you know. <laughs> right then that's all my bits dropped off there from Keith, that's swift brake and clutch, so yeah let's get this put back together. So, some emery tape, I'm just going to clean off around this hub where the disc fits, and we'll get it put back on. Right, I've got the oxyacetylene out, so what we've got to do is swap the new caliper onto the carrier, and what you've got, you've got two Allen, big Allen bolts up through the slider, which are seized solid, so we'll let to warm these up, then we can blast them off. Right, just busy warming up around those bolts. Doesn't matter about those boots burning off because the caliper scrap is going back anyway. Okay, there we go. That's that one warmed up. Pulled out with a gun. Right, that's the other side warmed up. So just put it in this socket there and. There we go, that's that one off. Right then, that's the carrier removed, so we'll get that caliper bolted to that carrier there now. Right then guys, that's this side all done. Discs on, calipers on, pads are in, sensors it back in, chambers tightened up, always tighten the, always check the nuts with the brake bar there first, sorry last after you've fitted it. Check these ones that hold the caliper on. Check everything with the bar afterwards. Last thing to check will be this big ring of bolts here. Once the wheel's on the ground, we'll check them with the bar as well. So, as far as the brakes are done, that side's done. So, I've got to shoot off there now. Right, guys, that's the near side brakes all done. So, I'm going to shoot off from here now to a Vauxhall Mavano that's got a brake warning light on. Probably needs pads. So, I'm going to shoot over there now and uh, sort that one out. Right, I've arrived on site to do this Vauxhall Mavano, the brakes, but typical when you've got a full day of jobs, he's not here. So, um, hopefully he'll be here in a few minutes, he's supposed to be here, but hey, time's money, come on! Right, my van's turned up, so, um, first one I've gone to, they've got a one sensor on the front on these, so I've gone, before I take the wheels off, straight in there. I don't know if you can see that, look at that. 
sensor wire there, just in there. Sensor wire, chopped through on the rim. Someone's left that unclipped and it's just cut that wire through on the rim. So yeah, easy repair that. Okay, so that's the wheel off and there you can see it, broken wire. That there should be clipped in here, so I'll put a new sensor in, job done. Okay, to be fair, that, that pad there is pretty much brand spanking new, so there's the chop wire there, see it? There's, this, there's the plug. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put, because that sensor is built into the pad, I'm just going to put a pad in. If it had been uh, worn out, I would have put a set of pads in, but there's nothing wrong with them. One pad, screaming for the van, get them away. Right, there we go. New pad in, we'll get this caliper, put the caliper drop back on there and get it plugged in, plugged in. Right, that's the job done. If you can see the wire there, see I've put it into the proper clip there, which it wasn't in. Plugged it in, clipped it to the proper bracket, so that's not going to hit the rim now. Job done properly, get the wheel on. Right, that's the wheel on. So, uh, pump the pedal up, push the pistons back out, so pedals on the top, tested it there, jobs are good. So, back in the van now, we're off to fit some landing legs to a trailer. Right, I'm back at the customer's yard for the legs. This trailer, this trailer's got two rear bent legs, so I took them off yesterday. And yeah, Robert's got the new ones there. Top man. He even comes with a cross shaft and a handle. So, yep, I'll get them put on there now. You can see this one here. See look at that one. Got bent here. Big bend in there on both sides. So, yep, we'll get them put on. These wheels should make a difference because. If they do leave them a bit low or whatever, catch a sleeping policeman or something, rather than having the flat foot plate, these wheels should turn. That's the thinking anyway. Oh man, I've got them lifted in place there with Dan. And then just this little bit of chassis here is a bit too wide for this different type of leg, so I'm just going to have to nick this out with a, with a cutter. Okay, that's one leg on. Get the cross shaft in, get the other one put on there now. Okay guys, that's the leg on the other side. You can see it, new cross shaft. Bracket layer handle clipped up. So yep, job done. Tidy my tools up. Get back, get back across to do my car transporter. Whoa, busy day. Okay. That's me back at this Merc Actros. So um, we'll get the wheel put on. Put a little bit of oil, a little bit of oil on these studs. Get the wheel on. Uh, nip up these big bolts, and then we'll torque the wheel up, and then this side's done. Okay, so that's the wheel all torqued. Pointers back on. Just going to get my gear put away there now, and there, that and crack on and get the other side done. But uh, I'm not going to bother doing another, another video on the other side because basically it's just a repeat performance of this side. So, yep, job done. Right then, guys, oh, that was a busy day. So, yeah, that's the car transporter done, Movano done, landing legs done. Um, yeah, just got to do the other side brakes and that's it all finished. So, anyway, busy, busy day. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helps anyone. So. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again with another Ken's Jobs.